At one time, all cars were open cars. People went motoring for the sheer pleasure of it. They were thought of as dashing, bold, adventurous. And they were. They still are. That is, those who drive convertibles. Cars have changed, but people still like to be thought of as dashing, bold, adventurous. That's why convertible sales are growing steadily, from 2.5% in 1953 to 6.4% in 1964. That percentage can climb much higher if we work toward a better understanding of people, help them understand themselves and their desires. In more cases than you may think, they would like to own and drive a convertible, and there are good reasons why they can and should. More people today are able to afford the higher price. More people are pleasure-minded, and they have more time for fun. More people are buying second and third cars than ever before, a natural expanding market for convertibles. Family sedan plus a car for fun. Today, more people want better things, and they are proud to show them off. Call it status symbol, or what you will, but you see it all around you. However, there are many would-be convertible buyers who repress their actual desire to own one. They convince themselves that they should lean toward a more practical car. Many cling to such outmoded notions as convertible tops leak like a sieve, or convertibles are cold and drafty in winter, or they rattle and are, in general, impractical. Not so, of course. Today's convertible is a fine year-round car all over the country, not just in warm climates. In those climates, though, many are air-conditioned for hot summer comfort, further proving convertible practicality. Convertibles have appeal for buyers of all ages. Like this couple, they have found that the convertible idea is larger than life. They don't have any false guilt feeling about practicality. They're living. A smart Dodge salesman helped them to give in to what they really wanted for years. You can do the same with many of your prospects. And here are your best persuaders. The 1965 Dodge Dart, Coronet, and Polara convertibles. They are leaders in their respective fields. Let's see why. Put our Dart GT alongside Ford's Falcon Sprint. This is actually the Falcon Futura with a special trim, plus bucket seats and console. The Sprint offers only one engine, a 200 horsepower V8. Dart GT gives you two sixes and two V8s with up to a hot 235 horsepower. Dart GT lets you have convertible fun with six-cylinder economy, yet plenty of zip and go. Dart is over a foot longer than Falcon, which partially explains its more sleek appearance. Another Dart GT major competitor is Chevrolet's Corvair Monza, also with bucket seats. Monza offers six-cylinder power only. Standard is 95 horsepower. Top option is 140 horsepower. Dart standard is 101. Optional six is 145 horsepower. And of course, we have two V8s. So for the kind of performance convertible owners like, Monza just isn't in it with Dart GT. Monza's overall length was stretched about three inches this year on its same 108 inch wheelbase. But it, like Falcon, is over a foot shorter than Dart. Now for a fast look inside the cars. First, Monza is harder to get into because it's almost three inches lower than Dart. We have more headroom in front, too, as well as more hip room. And we have over three inches more rear leg room. Other basic dimensions are about the same. People used to say convertibles were hard to see out of, not dart, with more total glass area than either Falcon or Corvair. And you get a much wider view through dart's rear window because we have 100 square inches more area than Falcon and over 100 more than Corvair, an important safety and convenience advantage. Some people think convertibles have small luggage space. Some do, not Dart. Compare it with Falcon and Corvair. Now basic price comparisons. In bench seat convertibles, Falcon Futura 6 is $15 less than Dart, and the V8 is $7 more. Corvair doesn't offer a bench seat convertible. With bucket seats, the Corvair Corsa is $22 more than Dart GT, and the Falcon Sprint V8 is only $19.40 under Dart GT. But you more than offset that by adding the price of Sprint's extra-cost wheel covers, which are standard on Dart GT. So against your major Dart competition, you have the basic superiorities of the line, plus those which apply to convertibles, plus price advantages where they count most. Now we'll see how we compare in the intermediate market with Coronet 440 and Coronet 500. Chevrolet's Chevelle Malibu Super Sport is typical of competition in this field. In fact, GM is our only major convertible competition here. Ford Fairlane doesn't offer a convertible. At a glance, Coronet 500 looks like more car than Chevelle, and it is. Overall, Coronet is almost eight inches longer, 
and our wheelbase is two inches longer. More convertible for the money. Speaking of money, let's compare prices. The Coronet 440 six-cylinder model is $49 over the Chevelle Malibu, and the V8 model is only $37 more. However, add the cost of a power top to the Chevelle at $53.80. It's standard on Coronet 440. That puts us under by $4.80 in the six and $16.80 in V8 models. The Coronet 500 is slightly more than the Chevelle Malibu Super Sport, but when you add the cost of our standard power top and padded dash, we are under by $21.10. We've seen that we offer more car outside at a better price. Now look inside for more values. Coronet has more headroom and more hip room, front and rear, and more rear leg room and shoulder room. Coronet convertibles provide the biggest total glass area in their field, 3,593 square inches. Further proof in our rear window area, 1,140 square inches, compared to Chevelle's 786.2. And still more proof, Coronet's windshield area is 1,304 square inches, almost 200 more than Chevelle's. Here's another touch of more value. Coronet provides a full horn ring as standard. Chevelle's is only an arc. As mentioned earlier, Coronet gives you power top operation as standard. Just a flip of the switch lowers or raises it. Chevelle's standard top is manual, which may be all right in small cars, but part of convertible life is the luxury of not having to get out of the car and fight the top down or up. In Coronet, take it easy. The top automatically lowers itself and snuggles deep and flat in the well. A word here about power. Coronet's standard six-cylinder engine develops 145 horsepower. Chevelle's standard six horsepower rating is 120. Coronet V8 engine choices go all the way up to the 426 cubic inch at 365 horsepower. Chevelle's top option is 300 horsepower. Many convertible lovers want more. Coronet supplies it as it outmatches, outperforms, and outvalues its intermediate convertible competition. Now we'll move to the full-size Dodge Polara and its convertible competition. The bench seat Polara convertible faces Chevrolet Impala, Ford Galaxy 500, Pontiac Catalina, and Mercury Monterey. Our custom 880 bench seat convertible competes with Buick LeSabre Custom and Olds Jetstar 88 and Dynamic 88. And Polara 500 competes with Impala Super Sport, Galaxy 500 XL, and Monterey and Catalina with bucket seats. Obviously, there are too many to cover here, so let's concentrate on Pontiac Catalina. First, price. The bench seat Catalina with V8 lists at $50 more than Polara, yet its standard engine is rated at only 256 horsepower compared to our 270. And there are other basic product advantages in our favor. In Polara 500 and Catalina with bucket seats, we find an even bigger price advantage. The Polara 500 Sport Package is priced at $203.25. It includes bucket seats and console. The bucket seats alone in Catalina cost $204.44, and the console costs another $107.60. You almost have to buy the console with bucket seats. Looks bare without it. So add it up. Catalina base price is $3,196. Add for bucket seats and console, and you get $3,508.04, which puts Polera under by $158.79. Here you can see our big visibility advantage, about 550 more square inches total glass area, bigger windshield, bigger rear window. These convertibles are just about the same size inside and outside, both 121 inch wheelbase. As to power, our standard engine has 14 more horsepower. Both standard engines use regular gas. To get more than our standard horsepower in a Catalina, you must go to premium gas. We about match Catalina in optional engines. Remember, in selling Polara convertibles against Catalina, you have a strong price advantage, plus inherent product advantages not reflected in the price tags, just as you have against all your competition. Because Dodge convertibles are winners in style and performance, in comfort and convenience. In fact, in everything it takes to win over people of all ages who have always yearned for the convertible life. You can prove to them that with Dodge, a convertible is completely practical, and above all, it's fun. Let that old convertible magic go to work for you in leading more prospects to enjoy living larger than life.